Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so I've been creating um, the programming challenges in starting out with Java by Tony Gaddis. But, but this one is going to be, this is going to be the first of all the programming challenges in starting out with Python, the, the third edition by Tony Gaddis. I mean, the, the edition doesn't really matter because um, they, they just have uh, um, some changes in there, but the, for the most part, everything is, you know, the same in the book. But I'm just saying it's going to be the third edition. But it's going to be starting out with Python by Tony Gaddis. And this is going to be the first of all the programming challenges in the book. So I'm going to create all the programming challenges in, in the book. So I'm not going to waste too much time. This is going to be the first of um, all of them. Okay. So the first program is personal information. Okay. So write a program that displays the following information. Your name your address with city, state, and zip. Okay, so, so this is the, the first um, program in chap chapter two, actually. But you know, w when I'm basically, when, I'm, um, when I upload it on YouTube, I'll put, all the, I'll put all the details. So this is the first program in chapter two. So this is basically 2.1. That's how I'm going to name it. But this is the first program in chapter two. Okay, so write a program that displays the following information. Your name, your address with city, state, and zip your telephone number, your college major. Okay. All right, so I'll just go ahead and start. So I'm going to store my name in a name variable. Okay. So name is going to be called to uh, my name. I'm going to put my full name. Okay. And your address with city, state, and zip. Okay. So Name here is going to be a string, so that's why I surrounded it with double quote, double quotation marks. Okay, so your address with city, state, and zip. So I'm going to create an address variable in the content or the value. Oops, no semicolons. See, I've been I've been coding in, in Java two for a while, so I I'm fond of semicolons, but no semicolons in Python. So no no termination in Python. Okay, so I'm just going to open double quote. <coughs> I'm sure you're going to see me with you know trying to terminate 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 certain statements. So, but I'll but I'll catch it right there and try to uh, delete it. If not, when I'm debugging the program, I'll, it'll, it'll tell me and then I'll delete it. But yeah, it's going to happen once in a while. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to open um, double quotes and I'm going to put my address. It says your address with city, state, and zip. So city, I'm going to I'm going to put just a, you know just a random fake city it's not a real city fake city i'm going to put a uh, put a comma S uh, state i'm going to put i mean ct um zip i'm going to put one two three one two so that's th the f um that's going to be the my address with city state and zip okay so the next thing is going to be the telephone number so I'm going to create a telephone number variable, and I'm going to store the telephone number in there. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. And the last thing they want us to display is my college, your college major. So I'm going to create a college major variable, and I'm going to store a string. Oh, let me sign it with curly braces. I mean, not curly braces parentheses and then I'm going to store computer science okay so <coughs> I'm sorry so now I have all four values stored in four in, in all the variables so all I have to do now is display it okay so I'm going to use Python's print function okay this Python's print function so I'm just going to type the word print and in print, I'm going to pass in the argument. Oops, sorry. Hold on. I'm going to pass in the argument, which is going to be my variables. Okay. So the first thing I want to pass it pass in without quotation, because if I'm passing it name, for example, I don't have to put quotation around the variable itself, because the variable it's a variable and it contains the string atakakra. It contains the string atakakra di tom Okay, my name. Okay, so 
I'm going to pass it name and I'm going to separate it with another variable. I'm going to se separate it with a comma with another variable address. So um, l l let me just mention it. Um, so again, just like the Java programming challenge, uh, pro programming challenges, this is not going to be a, a teaching Python course. This is just trying to solve the programming challenges in the book. Okay. Eventually, if if you guys want me to teach Python, I will I will gladly do it. Okay. Eventually, I'll do it. But this is just trying to go to the question and uh, and just solve the question. Trying to create the create the program. It's not basically. It's not going to uh, go go uh, teach all the concepts, but. Nonetheless, when I'm creating the programs, I'll talk about you know s some of the the methods. Uh, I mean, sorry, the functions and you know the syntax and you know stuff like that. But it's not a t it's not a teaching Python course. So yeah, just just be I'm expecting that um, for example for chapter two at least you know you have you know the you have the idea of um, variables and strings and you know you know how to print this, you know stuff like that. You, you know, you don't have to know everything, but just to know enough to be able to understand understand it. But this is just trying to solve the question, okay? And again, eventually, if you want me to teach Python, I will, I will gladly do it, and, and I'll cover the details. But for now, we're just trying to solve the question. And I, and even though I'm trying to solve, we are just doing that, I'll still go over it, you know, so that we, ha we have an idea. Okay, so I'm passing in the arguments and arguments are going to be my variables so name and I'm separating them with commas so name comma address comma telephone number and co uh, comma college major okay so now we're done okay we're done we've declared the variables we've 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 stored values in the variables and we are printing the values in the variable. We are printing what's in the variables. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the debug mode here and debug it. It wants us to save it first, so I'm going to save the selected files. I'm using Wing Wing ID, the Wing ID, Wing 101. You can download it on their website, Wing. Um, if you type in, if you Google Wing 101, you should be able to download it. It's for free. Okay, so I'm going to just like the Java. I'm going to create um, a folder on the desktop, and I'm going to call it Python. And then I'll create another folder in there, and I'll call it Programming Challenges. And um, create another folder, Chapter Two. And one more, which is going to be personal information. So another folder, personal information. Okay. All right. So and I'm going to save personal information the pi. And pi is extension. So personal information the pi. Because I'm going to save it. And I'm going to debug it. Okay, so now, I'm sorry, <coughs> sorry. So now it's displayed. It, it, it's it's printed out the contents of the variable, right? But I don't think this is how the program wants us to display it. Although we've done it, we've displayed the content of the variable. We've displayed our address. It would be nice to display it um, vertically, you know, like one after the other, stacked. So first of all, we have my, my name, the address with with uh, city, state, and zip, my phone number, and major. So anytime you use a print function, by default, when you use a com the commas to separate the arguments you pass into the print function, it separates each of them by default with a space. So if you look over here, don't be confused by these commas. These commas are actually com real co commas that I typed into the address over here. Fake city, comma, city, comma, um, one, two, three, one, one, two. Okay, so this whole string here is one value stored in a variable. So 
by default it's it's not separating with, with, with these comments so don't be confused by default when you when you pass in arguments into the print fu uh, function you separate them with commas it's the the separator is a space so it's separating the name and the address with this space separating the whole of this address and the phone number with this space separating the phone number and the major with the space but the thing is you have control over it you can change it you can change the, the separator for the print function and you do that but with a comma and say SEP for 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 we say sep you know it's for it's for separator and you you set the value to be equal to your I'm opening a string uh, uh, double quotes and I'm going to put in the value I'm going to type in a new line character so I want the value the the the, the separate I'm changing the separator from the default which is a space to a new line character and I use backslash n so backslash n together is the new line character so basically print out these values of um, in these variables but separate them this time n not with a space but with a new line character so after each each variable um, if, if each content after each variable you display okay if you display the content of this variable separate separate it with a new line character and then display the content of this variable you separate it with a new line character so it's going to basically display vertically so I'm going to debug it one one last time and now it's separating with a new line character okay so we're done we're done okay so that's it okay so if you have any questions please comment down below and I'll do everything to answer them and as always I'll see you next time with the next program take care of yourselves have a good day and thank you for watching